Third round action coming to you live on PDC TV and Arena 4, presented by PDC Europe. Time for our next match. Would you please welcome on stage from England, he is a former UK Open finalist and a former World Youth Champion, Cool Hand Luke Humphrey! <laughs> And his opponent, the world number four, with PDC major titles to his name in three different decades. From Aldershot, England, the machine, James Welcome back everyone, we are in Budapest and it is game number two of the last 16. 2021 has given us quite a few headlines in the darting calendar so far and early in the year we saw these two go at it in the UK Open final but if you think that's the only chapter in this rivalry well you'd be sorely mistaken because they have played this year already five different times so installment number six if it keeps going this way Colin Lloyd as we welcome you to the commentary box for the day <laughs> they're gonna write more chapters than Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> yes um, and it's um, I think you were saying, telling me Paul three two to Wadey at this moment in time it is now of course that UK Open final was their first meeting in 2021. They've met in three players championship events and of course the world match player which was owned by Luke Humphreys. I think he wanted a little bit of revenge for that loss in the UK Open final. His first senior PDC ranking final in a major of course. He has made other finals this year but this is the next chapter. I wonder who's going to win it. Humphreys will fancy it. Go on in, I'm putting you on the spot. Come on in, who's winning? First leg, James, to the I'll fifth. defer to leg six, Game I'll on. tell you then. <laughs> because one thing we can say right now, before dart is thrown, and this is a somewhat anomaly of a statistic, Luke has played two Nine games five. here this week. James only the one. But they have exactly the same percentage on the doubles. Luke has 16. hit 12 doubles with 26 attempts. James, 6 from 13. So these guys are pretty evenly matched right now. 140. Colin White has just shown me that he thinks Wade's going to win 6-3. Well, predictions this week have not gone massively well. And yes, I'm 82. talking about Joe Mernon yesterday saying he was definitely going to beat DeSouza 6-4. Didn't work out, did it? But we'll find out if Mystic Colin is right. One hundred and thirty-four. I was saying to you earlier, Paul, that um, I sat down for about 10, 15 minutes this morning with James at breakfast. One hundred and eighty. James is looking one hundred and thirty-two. James is not messing around here, is he? No, he looked and sounded very relaxed. Ninety-two. Very calm. It takes a lot to get him flustered, anyway, doesn't it? Really. I think that's true. 70. That James, you would like to look at last dart, but it's probably a dart thrown Game in vain. Shot and the first was. Leg. James Wade. As James Wade makes a very fast Second start. Second leg, Luke, two, third, first. Game on. Just looking through some head to head stats 
for your self against certain players. I was talking to you just before the broadcast of this game mm -hmm. that certain seasons you can't get rid of one player. 96. I remember 2009 like it was yesterday. Could I get rid of Mark Dudbridge? <laughs> Every week it seemed like I was playing against him. I just thought to myself, 140. give me a break from this guy. Probably because he kept beating me. I think this year, Humphrey's real rivalry is Wade. And potentially, 99. Wade's rivalry is definitely Humphrey's. But as far as you're concerned, you've had a lot of games with James. You've had 31, in fact. And it's pretty much 50-50, isn't it? Yeah, he was... Um... I enjoy, I enjoy playing James. He, he's one of these people, there's no shenanigans, just gets on with the job in hand. And, and I enjoyed that for I, I Luke, you require I 161. Myself. I just got, if I was good enough, hopefully I'd get a result. If I wasn't, I'd have to come back another day, you know? Um, and you're going to tell me now who was winning and who's not, weren't you? I was indeed. Colin Lloyd, 15. James Wade, 16. 60. So you're going to have to come Luke back and try and equalise the score. Ain't Otherwise, he's going to beat you for the rest of your life. The top's for Luke Humphreys. Game shot Very good indeed. Leg. Luke Humphreys, the leg James to throw first. Two shots at a double in this match. Two hits. Just let that continue. 100. Could this one go all the way? Or is Lloydie with his 6-3 protection about to scribble it out and... Right, 6-4. That's exactly what he's just done, folks. 100. Let it's all just... subject to change, Paul. It's all subject to change. <laughs> well, that's darts for you. As soon as you've completed one leg, back to square one. 100. It's a sporting 40. equivalent of snakes and ladders. You can be within two points of a championship, but then have to go back 499 100. points if you're given another leg. But Wade has been around... For so long now, and you would assume that he's probably in his mid 40s. No, he's won majors in three different decades. 131. Eloquently put by our MC Philip Brzezinski. But well, he's 38. He's 38. Tough pipe around. 58. James, you require 130. <laughs> no, that just that just goes to show Paul the class of the man. Doesn't have to go for the bull here. 90. Does not. Sensible. Yeah, he's been around a long, long time. Uh, whether you want to call him a major or not when it comes to World Series events. And things 180! Like James, I've been been a pressure to this double top for James. Games on the third leg. James Wade. Um, Fourth leg, Luke, two. James the first won nine game on. TV events. Nine majors. Two Euros. You don't 92. get handed things like that, Paul. You have, to, you have to earn it. And he is someone that... I said it to him this morning at, at breakfast. I said, you have to be... He 140. Have to be to be. You can't let up, because he will keep coming at you. There you see that lean of Luke Humphreys. He's very forward with that stance. It's almost like he's, he's waiting to hit that 60, and then he's just waiting for dart three so he can punctuate the visit. 99. That's exactly what he's just done. Humphreys, for me, is one of the most exciting talents that we have unearthed in the last 10 or 15 years. And 59. With the likes of Dimitri Vandenberg and Keen Barry and some others who have come through the PDC blueprint over the years, they're starting to do it at senior level. 56. So it does beg the question, of course, Luke, what you will require we find 170. in the next few years? Well, we'll see Keen Barry a little bit later on. But Humphreys, 58. who I think has had a beard since birth, because even as a 15, 16 year old kid, he had a beard. But these days it's a bit more manicured. It's not as bushy as Michael Smith's, of course, which is quite resplendent. 138. But Luke, you require 112. First and foremost, don't make any mistakes here. Double 16. 96. That could be a big opening for James, James Wade. You require I was just about 68. to say, Paul, that was a bit of a loose shot beforehand, and I feel, felt that that needed to go. Wadey loves double 10. 48. But not today, it seems. Well, they were both down the Luke same line. Luke, you require 16. So he trusted the line, and it didn't work. Double four. 
He James said come on to himself play. just Luke before Humphrey. that last start. It's a good bit of passion there from Luke Humphrey. So he's just piercing himself in this match. He's dodged a bullet there. One hundred. was just about to say, if James had hit that double ten, that when he's hitting tops and tens with no misses attached, it's a bad sign for Luke. But when Humphrey really starts to concentrate that scoring, that's where Wade has got to do something that, for me, is probably the most impressive thing that he's done on the dartboard 84. in the last 15 years, which is evolve his scoring to stay with the new guns coming through, like Chisnell or Van Gerwen yeah. or Dimitri van der Berg. 140. Yeah. Great standard in this match. All of the 180s coming from Luke Humphreys. Both averaging over a ton. Easy Both fun. very comfortable doing that. I know that's a strange thing to say, but there are some players out there who, if they get a hint that they're averaging over 100, they get scared of playing better or yeah. scared of playing well. Should never be afraid of playing well. That's exactly right. Luke's created himself an opportunity. 100. Three one Luke, you've acquired on the 81. He's going to get first shot at the 81 here. 12 will leave in the bull. Double 13. 55. Ooh. That would James, have been a big, big leg and a break of throw. Wadey's got a chance. Double 18. He thought that was in. 87. He might have thought that was in as well. Luke, they were really close. 96. Humphreys gets the second visit and Game takes it for the, the first break of throw in the match. Humphreys. I can't stop watching Six these guys play. I was a bit like that gif on Twitter of one of those chat show hosts in America with the popcorn. Constantly just munching away at the popcorn, watching their game at the match play. It was fascinating. And I have to think that this being their sixth meeting of the year, I don't think it's going to be the last. 60. I wouldn't be surprised to see them in another major final. Quite possibly. We are going to have Luke Humphreys at the World Grand Prix. And of course, we're going to have 85. World Grand Prix champion on a couple of occasions, James Wade there. But looking at the grand scheme of what James has done in his career, how impressive is it? 100. At the age of 38, he has been in the top 16. And now I used to say this on a, a different level. I used to say top 10, but he has... 58. Crept in and out of that a few times mm. in the last few seasons. Staying in the top 16 for probably 16 years. How impressive is that? 81. That's, that's good going. But again, I'll go back to that. That's James Wade. That's the way Wade is. He's got that grit and determination that when you write him. 140. Off, you shouldn't. He'll look you in the face and say, I'll tell you when I'm done. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm done. Do you remember what we used to say about Wadey as well? Something very good. It wasn't derogatory as he hits that 180. His first of the match. We'll come back to that point in a second because Humphreys might look at 48 bull here. Judging by that collision. 42. James, you require 80. He's looking north. That was a somewhat cagey attempt at tops, but now he just needs the one of them. 60. And can't break back immediately. But That's this is no gimme. That's, a, that's why I don't like that shot pull because you put the first dart and you put it in an awkward angle, you're going to have to move. Game shot the sixth leg. Luke Splendid Humphreys. from Humphreys. Seventh leg James to throw. Has dodged two bullets now in two consecutive legs. But we used to say something about James Wade. 140. We always knew when he was going to play well because if a weekend in, say, Swindon or Barnsley. Or anywhere like that came up, he said, I feel like getting a new car. We all thought, oh, no. <laughs> if he wants a new car, we know for a fact he's going to win a tournament. And it's alarming how many times 60. it happened. Yeah, yeah. Class act. Class player. It's he, good motivation. Yeah. I mean, he, he's 4-2 down here now. 100. Oh, if he'd have gone out, he could be 5-1 up. But the, that's the difference between some players and James Wade. James doesn't dwell on him. He just keeps going and going and going. Me, I, I, up there now, I'll be imploding because I'll be seizing. I'll be thinking, I should be five. And your shoulders drop. 100. Your concentration drops because you'll be thinking, I should be five one up by now, not four two down. Even if he feels that way, he's not showing it, which in itself 
is a very strong quality 60. against a very good opponent in Luke, Luke you require 161. might just have six darts from 161 for a 5-2 lead. 82. Oh, he doesn't like that. James, He's trying to lead 56. It's still a two-darter, and he is going to get a look at it, but if he had a choice between 79 and 56, I know what I'd choose, Lloydie. 94. Very much so, mate. Very Luke, much you require so. 79. Like we're a two or a three, it's going to be a three data. Big, big dart. 59. James, you that one. 48. That was a great single for him because he could have used the underside of the flight as a marker. Bends the wire. 28. He doesn't find it. He can't understand why it's Luke, not going in. 20. And I have to agree with him because all of the misses are on the wire. Humphreys is in, though. He's taking every play. opportunity that is coming his way after he misses. Two, first. Game is it going to be 3-3 going into the autumn of 2021? And Humphreys is showing no signs of slowing down. There's a lot of chatter today about the fact that certain players have not won a title this year. They haven't won a Euro Tour before. 98. Maybe Luke Humphreys is going under the radar a little bit today. And he won't mind that one little bit. Yeah, this was. Uh, listen, this is a sixteen ball. Every game's going to be tough, but he knows. Um, he knows James' game in and out, and you know he knows he can 16. get a result over James because he's done it before. So, why not? If he gets through this match, it'll be about time that he pushes on and 100. starts doing a little bit more. I don't want to put the pressure on the lad. He is that good a player. The winner of this one will indeed play Joe Cullen. 60. That will be the first quarter final tonight. More mini signs of exasperation there from Wadey, who wires the treble 20 this time three times, and Humphreys is showing him the way. For the fourth 180 of the match. And he may have the luxury of splitting that 38 if he chooses. 100. And I believe he should. Luke, you require 38. I think Lloydie's just written down 6-2 Humphreys. And he was right because it is another Luke win for Crew and Luke against James Wade to two. When they played at the World Match Play, it was 10 legs to two. This time he just needed the six. And if he gets six tonight against Cullen, he will be in the semi-finals of the Hungarian Darts Trophy. A great display from Luke. 97.53 is the average. The first nine is very similar to what he's been doing this week of 105. The doubles were excellent once again. And funnily enough, what has he done over the course of this match? Exactly what he's done the entire tournament. 46.15, alarming consistency, and maybe it's a sign. We're gonna see Michael Van Gerwen against Brendan Dolan next. But let us get a little bit of an insight into that one with Luke Humphreys and Philip Krasinski. Ladies and gentlemen, your second quarter finalist, Cool Hand, Luke Humphreys. Luke, I mean, ton plus average yesterday, close to 100 now, you are in blistering form. Was in ton plus in that game? No. Not good enough then. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, um, you know, James is a tough player to beat. He's a, a very solid player. I know what, I get, what I'm going to expect against James, and, you know, he missed a few doubles there. Um, and I capitalised on it, you know, I know my ability, I know. You know, I'm starting to get to that stage now. I think I'm up there with the best, but, you know, I've got to keep proving it. I can't say it. I've got to do it. Um, you know, this is my first quarterfinal European tour. You know, I've had some, a lot of things that happened this year. I made my first major final. I've made my first pro tour final. Now I've made my first Euro tour quarterfinal. So who's to say I can't go on and make my first Euro tour final? Surely no one is. I mean, w with that development that you've shown on, on stage in the last couple of months and maybe the last year or so, you can tell by the support you're getting as well. People know you and people like you and they support you very, very well here. Another great crowd. What do we think, guys? Um, you know, I've, I've um, obviously had to be careful because obviously I've got to fly home on Monday, obviously, with the COVID test, but I've been to Tesco's and stuff like that and I'm just getting noticed in, in sort of places like that and I'm thinking, wow, you know, they, they know who I am and I'm not one of the top, top players. So look, I've made it very clear. This is one of my favorite places I've ever come to. Hungary is amazing. It really is. And um, I think, you know, once starts is over and, you know, COVID's better, I think I'll come back here for a, a city break holiday because I think it's a, a great country.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see him again tonight. Our second quarter finalist, Cool Hand Luke Humphreys. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, we're going to be back with our next match of this afternoon. And it's going to be Brendan Dolan from Northern Ireland. And Brendan Dolan is going to face mighty Michael Van Gerwen.